welcome. <laughs> um, this is a Valentine's message. Happy Valentine's. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. All right, 2020 Valentine's Day is just one of the most um, powerful that is going to be happening. Um, and um, the 2nd of February is going to be extremely powerful. And why the 2nd of February is powerful is because it's the feminine energy. It is the time, um, if you notice, the High Princess is, it came up in this year. It is uh, um, the High Princess and the Omega, okay? 2nd of February, that is 0202 2020 2020. I'll put the message um, there. Now, what is transpiring is that with this message, and by knowing and understanding what exactly is going to be on, uh, happening, if you guys realize the last couple of year, um, men who have been in the closet for a very long time is now coming out of the closet and they are finding out and seeing the truth and the femininity of these men are really on target. They're coming up as strong. We can't release it. Some people are not open for the energy. And I can imagine if a woman has been told her that he is going to choose for the feminine energy, it's not really one of the most positive things. But what is really transpiring and what is really happening is that the powerful, the female energy is really um raising up and it's just so powerful and it's as if people who feel very feminine cannot resist the herd so um february 2nd the 2nd of february is going to be a very powerful day because 2nd of february is the energy of the high princess so it's going to be 0202 2020 so what this is ultimately saying is that the femininity of us as a, a species on this planet is going to be so um strong that it's going to be coming out and it's going to be aligning us with wonderful positive energies because we're going to be feeling the the nurturing the mother side of us the mother figure coming back because um it is an, an awakening this is a, some of you if you are psychic on this day second second of february it's going to be so powerful so huge because what is happening and transpiring is that the feminine energy is coming back the eye princess is here secrets could be coming out but um, women are going to be taking back their powers, okay? And this is going to be starting to happen from the 2nd of February. And if you notice, huge corporation organization from last year has been giving more women the power to use because they want more women in their corporation institution because they are aware that things are going to be changing on this planet. So, what is happening is that um, this was a beautiful tweet that came by and this is very good because whatever is transpiring, I am sure that you ladies out there is going to be taking back your power. So like very powerful women um, and, you know, they call us the B word, but who cares? Um, life is all about uh, um, you know, having your own and empowering your own self instead of people have you under control. So what is going to be happening on the 2nd of February? The 2nd of February is the ultimate dream day, okay? So it is a day to dream, to ask for what you want, to dream of new things, to dream to have changes for yourself and also for this planet. But it is also the 33rd day, okay? What is the 33rd day? 333. What is the 33rd day? What is the message that is coming up? The 33. Threes are always the energy vibration of uh, the Ascendance Masters, okay? So the three, the Ascendance Masters are helping you. Usually, um, this means an Ascendance Master you feel close to, for, G for example, Jesus, Quincy, Yin, Yin, uh, a saint or some other spiritual religious figure is going to be helping you on this day. So um, February 
Um, second is the 33 day of the year 2020. And this is wonderful and very positive. Now, what is going to be transpiring is that your intuition, your ascendance masters, if you um, are one of these people that was uh, sent to be guided by an ascendance masters, if it's not an ascendance masters, it's going to be a Queen Yen, which is um, the mother of uh, uh, forgiveness and love, Jesus, uh, uh, Yin, uh, or a saint is going to be open up that day to help you and to listen to your needs, your prayers, whatever it is that you want. If you don't pray, it's asking the universe and asking your saints and angels uh, to bring out what it is uh, that is transpiring. Okay, then um 33 um 33 33 33 33 um the number 33 you have a strong and clear connection with one or more ascendance masters who have answered your call and your prayers so keep talking to them as they are helping you with your present situation so whatever is happening whatever is transpiring ladies and gentlemen this is going to be a very very powerful day because it's number 33 so again three is all about the ascendance matters guiding angels saints and angels that is going to be coming in and affect you and on february 2nd February 2nd is the 33 day of the year 2020 and it is the day that we're going to be celebrating the eye princess because she is here coming back to bring in um, femininity okay all right so it is um so positive so powerful because what is transparent is that whenever the energy of the eye princess comes up the eye princess is about wisdom understanding however the eye princess comes in it's about secrets it's about higher education it's about knowing the secrets of the universe so the eye princess is always delivering information to us that we were not aware of and this is really wonderful because this is what the eye princess is here for but 333 three, three, and this is what i'm saying to um people it is very important for you to understand what this number mean what does time span mean when to do things and when not to do things so what we're seeing here is that you're completely surrounded and protected by loved and guided by the benevolent ascendance master so that is three 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 now what is happening and what is transpiring it's going to be so powerful it's going to be blowing you guys out of the water because on um after um, um february 2nd there is going to be another 333 days to go so ladies and gentlemen whether or not you want to be awakened whether or not you want to understand what exactly is happening and how the changes are happening on this planet um you are definitely definitely going to be understanding because these changes are really going to be coming up and you are going to be understanding what is happening on this planet so life is changing um however way you're looking at it life is definitely changing there is no question um we are seeing that the significance of numbers and how these numbers play a role so life is about uh, um understanding um what is transpiring and understanding because i um i keep on saying that there is going to be a ship and on 2nd of february there's definitely going to be a ship so whether or not you're open for this ship the 2nd of february a lot of people who are in the closet is going to be coming out because the femininity is going to be so strong that you're going to be realizing i need to accept this energy and i need to let people know where um where you are with me uh, a lot of secrets so february um second of february a lot of secrets are going to be coming out things that you weren't aware of is going to be opening up information is going to be coming out so you gotta be aware ladies and gentlemen what is transpiring because this this year um and it, it, it is going to be very important that you guys keep um keep 
positive um positive mindset okay because two 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 okay so i just gave you um the energy of three 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 because it has to do with um 33 but we're going to be looking at the tools and understanding so whenever you see two it is everything's fine and well continue to go on the part keep believing especially since your feelings of hope lead to more positive outcome okay so hope is the faith that opens the door um to whatever we're trying to bring in our lives so it also say the angels can border your fate if you also if you will also ask for help so let's say you need to um, have faith in something you need something you want something but you need to have faith you want something to be over but you need to have faith um, you're worried about issues and situation and they're saying keep the faith keep the faith okay keep the faith and um, 2nd of February, um, um, the day, keep the faith, keep the faith. Okay. Everything is fine and everything continue to be. So keep believing, especially since your feelings of hope leads to more positive outcome. Okay. The angels can border your fate if you will ask for help and it's going to be coming in for you now um 222 two, two is uh, second of february february is the second month um the angels can see the positive result of your prayers and they want you to have patient and stay optimism while the final details are being worked out in heaven this is an urgent call from the angels to keep the faith so if you notice um the, the 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 number two card in the uh, major arcana is the i princess 20 2020 20 is the energy vibration if you notice it is double it is omega god and mother uh, it is mother um the omega god and mother you need to keep the faith ladies and gentlemen it doesn't really matter what is going on um in your life keeping the faith and ask your angels to border your faith Whatever the issues and the situation that is transpiring in your life, just ask the angels and guides, your angels, saints and guides, um, light beams to border your fate, okay? 222, two, two, which is uh, um, 2nd of February 2020, okay? Trust that everything is working out exactly as it's supposed to, okay? Um, with divine blessings for everyone involved, let go and have faith. So if you notice, um, the twos are all about faith, whether it's this 22, whether it is, um, uh, 30, uh, 20, 222, it's all about faith. It's all about holding positive thoughts. It's all about bordering your faith is all about believing that it is going to be better believing that a situation is going to be handed knowing that you're going to be getting out of whatever hardship whatever difficulties whatever that has been happening and transpiring in your world so this is really powerful it is a powerful alignment of energies this is the energies of the feminine energies and you will going to be seeing that people are coming back and they're coming back and bringing in this powerful energy of the feminine wisdom the feminine knowledge um the maturity the nurturing because the femininity is coming up and it is so strong and it is so powerful and people are realigning themselves with the energy of this strong powerful energies that is coming in so ladies and gentlemen it is going to be second of february it's going to be a day if you were hoping and and wishing and dreaming for something start doing this from now because on the second of february your a your wishes and dream is going to be good and this is why i said to people have a little box where you ask for your wishes and dreams to be granted in this little box you can always write what it is you want like um 
um, after your birthday or seven days before your birthday have this little box that you can always use this little box to write your wishes and dreams every time that they are um, if they come true you can say thanks to the universe and you can um, release it because your wishes and dreams ladies and gentlemen we're going in a time where we need to rebuild our life we need to rewrite the slate it cannot be as we had it in the third dimensional shift we need to change our focus and change the shift of our focus and it's all about creating your life as we go along because we're living in dimensions and whatever it is that you truly open wish for that is not affecting another person in a negative way the universe will always give it to you maybe it's not the color you want but it's still the bag maybe it's not the, sh the shoes you want but it's still a shoes okay so ladies and gentlemen it is the time where we're going to be seeking the truth we're going to be seeking the truth we're going to be going inwards and seeking the truth of who we are so we have the um, angel saints that is bordering and we have the ascendance master so this is what I was saying to you guys uh, that 2020 is a huge paragon ship it's a deprogramming of yourself and it's a huge paragon ship it is moving you out of uh, these situation where you're going to be finding out and realizing how beautiful it is and what why numbers is so important in your life i am wishing you guys a really powerful um two to two days this is extremely good this year is going to change and trust me on the 2nd of february you yourself are going to be feeling the shift of energy because it's as if it's a portal is opening up and it can open up in ways where it's in within you that you're understanding things more that things are being activated where you're like whoa I never looked at it that way or oh my god really okay so you're gonna be so alive and uh, on that day and before that day you can write a message to your angels and guides and ask them to border your fate to know that whatever is going on in your life whatever is going on around you that you are going to be coming out of this in top shape in top form and getting out of whatever issue and situation was blocking you okay so remember um to uh, 22 and uh, remember um 222 two, two, okay so ladies and gentlemen whatever is transpiring you have the eye princess which is the mother of the feminine um it is the day that i think a lot of us as women um needs to celebrate especially women who are really feminine because i'm like one of these feminine um person i would never want to be a man I, I am so feminine I love being a woman I am glad I was born as a woman and it is one of these days that powerful women are going to be feeling the surge of energy that is going to be coming in that is going to be balance you and aligning you in such wonderful positive way that is going to be helping you to move you forward and you're going to be um, feeling good as you come through as you go to valentine's day which is going to be extremely powerful this year so if even you do not have a relationship on valentine's day or you you you, you don't have someone to celebrate go get yourself a roses go get yourself something something that is a significance to you something you have always wanted and um and enjoy enjoy if it's a box of chocolate and a, and and a and, and nice wine enjoy because you don't need someone to love you okay valentine's day for me is every day christmas for me is every day so it's about you knowing that you don't need people in your life to make you happy but you love yourself enough to understand that you are okay just being who you are and that you're a unique being on this planet i love you guys enjoy namaste Thank you.